hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we'll do the practical for the dbt test right so in the previous video we have uh, understood what is dbt test and the different types of test like we have two types of test called generic test as well as singular test so now let's do the practical uh so whatever the theory we have discussed so far right okay so first let's uh create uh a generic test right so already have told you what is generic test right so uh, in the generic test so we're gonna create a test inside the .ml file right so let me go and create one simple test so for that so let me go to my uh, jackal shop so right now i'll just close this target okay right now i'm inside the models so uh, inside the models we have a folder called marts and we have two marts here right and next we have a staging so inside the staging we have a staging customer staging orders as well as we have configured the source also right so about the freshness as well as the uh, source uh, parameter also we have set right even we have a stripe this is with respect to the payments table fine so now let's go and add a generic test uh, to my a stage customers model okay so because uh, so if i just go to my stage customers so let me go and show that so right now here we have a stage customers right so let me just to enter uh, place the name in the editor so i'll do select star from this and let me execute this yeah so we have customer id first name and last name let's go and add a test for the customer id right so it has to be unique and it has to be not null okay so this is what the first condition uh, let's gonna add for this stage customers so let me go to my vs code and inside the jaffel shop so let me create a file so i'll just name this file as a stage um a jaffel shop so already we have one ml file that is source ml file right so this ml file is with respect to the source and whatever the ml file right now i'm creating it's with respect to the models fine so let me create a stage, a jaffle. So jaffle underscore shop dot ml dot ml. Uh, okay. So inside this uh, stage jaffle shop dot ml. So let me define. So let me add first a version. Uh, so version. Even you'll get a template. Okay. So from the dbt docs. Okay. So you can just copy the template from there also. Anyways, let me type it. Okay. So we have a models. So inside the models. Uh, inside the models uh, so we have a name and name of the model i'm just selecting as a stage customers stage customers make sure you give proper names okay so inside the stage customers we have a columns uh, so the columns i'm just selecting okay and the column what i'm selecting is let me give the name for that and the name of that so make sure you give space or else again it may get error uh, okay so name okay, name name and name of this would be customer id customer underscore id okay customer underscore id it's not hyphen it's customer underscore id okay so now let's add a generic test okay so i should try it as a test okay and this test uh so should be the this unique customer id has to be unique right uh unique unique and as well as it has to be not null okay so this is how you define a generic test not null fine so let me do control yes fine and uh, let me just run dbt test because we have discussed already the four different commands so dbt test will run all the tests in my dbt project right so let me go and run that first so let me go and run dbt test let me do control yes dbt test let me hit enter Okay, I'm getting some error here. Line five. 
line 5 column c o l u sorry i have made the mistake here it's columns okay okay so control yes and let me run once again okay so so if i just go and check uh so we have six tests okay uh so got one uh one failure so i'll tell why it is failure because uh so we have already if i just go to my uh example folders okay and here we have first dbt model as well as my second dbt model and uh, so if i expand my schema.ml file so there is some test return for this okay that's not null as well as unique but in my if i execute my this models uh, there is a null value okay for that reason showing a warnings okay uh, so that's what i'm getting uh, so you can see failure in test for the not null for the first dbt model fine and uh, for the current model so i'm just giving uh, so if i let me close this let me give the specific model right instead of give the stage customers right so let me uh, dbt uh, test uh, dbt test so select i just give a stage customer you can see here also you can see it, it got passed okay so anyway let's execute one specific stage customer sorry yeah so you can see uh, not null test also is passed as well as uh, a unique test also passed fine so this is how you add a generic test okay so let's add for the stage orders as well okay uh, so i can just copy this exactly okay and so instead of stage customers i'll just name as stage orders and in the columns i'll just add order id and here also i'll just add unique and not null okay let me do control yes and let me run dbt test for all okay we'll get one error because of this example.ml file okay and uh, yeah we are getting any for this and rest you can see all the models are passed okay if you want to give specific stage orders yeah so you can see it got passed okay so this is how we write a uh, what a generic test so now let's practice the singular test okay uh, so before getting into uh, the singular test okay let's add one more test for the order id right so uh, let's discuss about because right now we have discussed only about the unique and not null uh, even we have accepted values as well right so if i just show you so we have unique not null accepted values let's try to do for the accepted values also okay let me go here or let me add one more uh, test okay so let me make it one mistake this time okay uh, so what i'll do so if i just uh, do completed okay so before test i need to tell what is the test is all about right accepted values and the values i need to tell what is the values and so values would be 
uh, completed okay let me show you so if i just go to my order id and uh, so where is my stage orders okay let me do stage orders once Okay, so you can see the status, right? So we have returned. Uh, okay, so we have returned, we have completed, right? So we have different status, right? So let me, uh, so in the accepted values, only these values are accepted. So let me add that in accepted values, okay? So one is completed. So even we have something called shipped. Okay, returned. Returned. R-E-T-U-R-N-E-D -E returned. Uh, then I even have something called return pending return return pending okay so even I have placed okay let me let let's not mention uh, placed and let me do control yes and let's execute only this model okay that is stage uh, dbt test uh, stage orders okay so basically it should throw error because so inside this accepted values even we have placed also you can see uh yeah so numeric value completed is not recognized completed c o m p l e t e d uh completed so let me check here once c o m p l e t e d completed that's correct mm -mm -mm. I think this should not matter. So let me do control yes once. Okay, let me remove completed. Control yes. Okay, I think there is some uh, mistake here. Accepted A, C, C, E, P, T, accepted values. This is correct. Values also are mentioned properly. Let me fix this just a second. Syntax is correct. Uh, so let me check this way. Yeah. So right now you can see. Uh, so I got invalid test config. So a test definition dictionary must have exactly one key got this values none value shaped returned uh even it got um got only this but even we have uh, other values elsewhere right accepted values let me add returned indentation some okay let me run this once again Okay, I'm getting parsing error. Okay, so what I can do is Okay, so let me copy this way. So based on the uh, DBT versions, uh, sometimes we'll get error. Uh, 
I've copied from test. Let me remove this from test. Uh, so this actually should work. So I don't know why it's getting error. Okay, so let me do control yes and uh, let me run this once again. yes 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 uh, i know what is the error i'm making so you can see i'm writing name or uh, stage orders columns i have written order id test i'm performing on this but test not for the order id right yes i made a mistake so i need to tell what is the name first right so name and inside the name we have status i need to tell like what is the column okay sorry for that so i just missed that okay yeah control yes okay so now it should work so now let me execute this. Yeah, so it got executed, but we got fail. I'll tell why. Okay. So because uh, I have not added uh, return pending. Okay. So we have placed, shipped, completed, return, even we have written pending. So if you just read this out, so that's what so failure in the test accepted values. Uh, because return pending is not there here. Okay, so as soon as I add the return pending, so it should not throw any error. Okay, so let me add that. So even we have return uh, pending. Return pending, control yes. And let me execute once again. Yeah, can see it completed. For example, if I just try to remove this, okay, let me remove this, okay placed so you get error right so you can just try this control yes okay so i got error right fine so as soon as i add a placed here so these are the accepted values because in my data i have placed okay so these are the accepted values in case if that is not there so that's my assertion is failing right so that's what i need to remember fine so control yes and let me run this once again okay she got successfully executed fine so right now we have done with generic test and we saw uh, like uh, how the generic test works so now let's go and uh, uh, do the hands-on for the singular test. What is the singular test? So here we're gonna write a SQL query inside the test folder, right? So if I go to my dbt project, so if I just close this models, can you see here test, right? So we have here tests and right now we don't have any test here. So let me go and create a new file. So this will be my singular test. So I'll just name this file as, I'll explain what is this file. Uh, that is, we have something called assert positive p o s i t i v positive uh, uh total total for payments dot sql okay so this is my file name fine and uh, so what is this file name so if i just go to my payments okay so let me go to my snowflake and uh, so if i just go and check uh, so what we have inside the payments and inside the payments uh, so we have a column of amount. Okay, so I want to make an assertion. I want to check that So the sum of amount for the each customer ID, okay has to be positive Okay, so I should not have any amount which is in the less than zero. Okay, basically I want all the total amount should be greater than zero Okay, that's what I want to uh, do the test for this entire model. Okay, so now let's go and add that in my uh, uh, in my file so i can just start that is uh, select okay so let me select uh, order id okay so order underscore id and uh, so sum of so let me do sum of amount first and uh, so i'll just do the alias as as total amount total amount okay and from so i'll just write from Mm -hmm. 
ओके ओके सो फ्रॉम सो ओके सो नाउ व्हाट आई कैन डू इज सो राइट नाउ आई डोंट हैव एमएल फाइल सो डायरेक्टली सी फ्रॉम इंस्टेड ऑफ डायरेक्टली राइटिंग रॉड डॉट सो हियर व्हाट वी हैव सो इफ आई जस्ट गो बैक so here we have what raw dot javel shop dot stage payments okay so instead of dot let's create a source file so that it will be practice for you also so how to create a source file so we already we have done that right so if i just go to my uh, models and inside the staging so this is the reference uh, source file which we have created okay so let me copy this uh, everything okay uh, so let me copy this and i'll do control c and inside the stripe so we have only one model called stage payments also let me go and create a new file i'll just name this file as src uh, as uh, stripe uh, s t r i p stripe uh, dot ml file okay so let me do enter and let me paste it over here and uh, so here so let me remove this source freshness i don't need this source freshness for the orders uh i don't need this fine so what i can do so here also etl loaded field i don't need this fine okay so we have a name javel shop uh and i need to give the name of the source let me give the names of the source as stage payments okay so let me keep the same name stage uh stage payments and database name is what so database name is a uh, raw uh, inside the uh, jaffel shop we have uh, payments sorry payments is in stripe right so database so let's not do mistake here okay so let me check that so inside the table so you can see this what the payments okay let me place this for my reference okay so we have raw stripe and payments right so raw so let me copy this and uh, instead of this so i need to replace with this values so we have raw uh, already written raw and the stripe is schema okay it doesn't matter so and the table name i'll just give as payment payment right payment fine let me delete this let me do control yes So now instead of directly writing in my test assertions, uh, so I can just refer to that. So like how to refer? So we know how to refer that. So that is a ref. Uh, open the bracket. So I'll just call the stage payment. So stage payments is my ML file. Uh, sorry. Uh, so if I just go, this is my source file. Right? Stage payments. So I'm just referring to that. Okay. Stage payments. So let me write group by. group by 1 and let me use having having not a total amount so total amount should be greater than equal to 0 okay so this is what the condition is let me do control yes okay so now first let's run dbt test okay so it will run both generic as well as a singular test uh singular generic test so we got one fail my dbt okay so rest everything it's pass payments where is payments okay so i need to search instead of that let's let's run one the specific okay so i can just write uh select uh that is stage underscore payments Mm -mm -mm. okay wrong sorry payments okay control yes so now let's run once again yeah you can see pass assertion is passed because we have all the values which is greater than 
okay if i try to add you can just try that you can just insert any negative record so this will be uh thrown an error okay so now now let's run dbt test once again so we get one error because of this example.ml file and everything should pass okay so let's practice all the commands for, for the last time so first command is dbt test which we just did so if i want to execute only the generic test so dbt test hyphen hyphen select and so i need to write a test type so test type is what a generic generic let me hit enter so now it will execute only the generic test which is present in my project fine you can see all the generic tests got executed so now if i want to execute only this uh, only the singular so i can just write the same command and instead of generic I just write singular hit enter okay and the last command is uh, to execute the similar a uh, singular command. So we have already seen, right? So if you want to execute only the single uh, 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 model, okay, a test for single models, we can do that, okay? So this is all about uh, test, right? So I hope uh, you know how to configure the test. The word you know what is generic test, and you know what is singular test, right? And uh, just remember, so testing is very important because uh, uh, testing is used in software engineering to make sure that the code does uh, what we expect to do, right? So to based on that, uh, so that's how you configure it because in the production, we'll see that uh, even the dbt build, okay? So we'll do automatically dbt run as well as dbt test, okay? So if you want to add uh, some conditions based on your, uh, based on your uh, business, right? Business requirements, you can just add that in the test folders. Uh, either you can use the test folder that is using the singular test or else you can just configure that in the ml file as a generic test okay so uh, this is is all about the test so in the next video we'll explore about the documentation